In an ever-evolving world, the face of warfare is changing at an unprecedented pace. The traditional paradigms of armed conflict, once dominated by boots on the ground and conventional weaponry, have given way to a new era defined by cutting-edge technologies. Today we find ourselves at the intersection of innovation and security, where the concept of military artificial intelligence has emerged as a focal point of global attention and scrutiny. This evolution towards AI-driven warfare is not just an abstract notion, it's a tangible reality, reshaping the landscape of national defense and international security. From enhancing situational awareness through advanced data analysis to developing autonomous weapons systems that can respond to threats at speeds inconceivable for human operators, AI has the power to redefine the very nature of warfare and our world. So what is AI? Well, first, we need to understand the concept of automation. Automation is a technique where systems are operated without human intervention. Take an alarm clock or an autocorrector and even your smart home devices. When looking at what's called the automation spectrum, we see that these types of devices fall on the far left end of the spectrum. The reason why is because these systems are considered rules based automation, or a form of automation where you give a system predefined rules to produce a result. However, what happens when there are no predefined rules, or better yet, when the system writes the rules for itself? This is where the spectrum bleeds into more probabilistic systems where results are chosen based on likelihood of solving a particular or generalized problem. For example, self-driving vehicles or facial recognition. These probabilistic systems depend on less rigid rules, occasionally even formulating rules autonomously, which is where we start to see AI become more apparent. So to answer our previous question, what is AI? Well, it's a subset of automation that can generate outputs such as predictions, recommendations or decisions influencing real or virtual environments. And AI extends beyond specific sectors, influencing vital domains like natural language processing, computer vision, security, robotics, healthcare and finance. Crucially, these domains are integral to military operations, highlighting AI's indispensable role in enhancing capabilities and shaping military technologies. This is precisely why it makes sense for us to explore and adopt these emerging technologies. One of the earliest examples of military AI and AI itself can be traced back to the mid-20th century with one of its pioneering figures being the British mathematician and computer scientist, Alan Turing. During World War II, Alan Turing played a pivotal role in breaking the German Enigma code, which was used to encrypt military communications. To achieve this, he and his team at Bletchley Park in England developed a machine known as the bomb. The bomb was an electromechanical device designed to decipher Enigma-encoded messages. It could automatically check potential settings for the Enigma machine, significantly accelerating the decryption process. Turing's work on the bomb machine demonstrated one of the first instances of machine intelligence producing a cryptological solution far quicker than any human team possibly could. More importantly, this was considered the first major example of digital automation. Over the following decades, great strides have been made in the development of artificial intelligence technologies, with many looking to pass what Alan Turing proposed as the imitation game, or more commonly known as the Turing test. The Turing test is defined as a deceptively simple method for determining whether a machine can demonstrate human intelligence. According to this test, if a machine is capable of engaging in a conversation with a human without being detected as a machine, it is considered to have successfully demonstrated human-like intelligence. 
Notable among these developments is the recent rise of large language models. You've probably heard of these in the form of chatbots, like ChatGPT. The reasons these systems have become so popular is due to its remarkable ability to process natural language and the convenience it provides for users who may know little to nothing at all about AI. Significantly, various LLMs like ChatGPT have beaten the Turing test, and its accomplishment has ushered in a new era in artificial intelligence, prompting experts to explore innovative methods for evaluating AI capabilities. You know, I, I think about when we start, first started doing cyber, and, and we put cyber on a PowerPoint slide, and everybody talked about it, it was going to be the panacea for everything. But it took us about 10 to 15 years to really understand it. For AI, it's been on PowerPoint slides probably a lot less time, but it's moving so quickly today that, uh, you know, where's it going to go? And that's the thing I think we've got to be concerned about, of how it can be used uh, against us or how our AI, uh, if you don't trust it, how it could uh, give you a, you know, a bad, bad vector on, on an area. Today, the development and deployment of AI technologies in the U.S. armed forces has been driven by the continued desire to maintain a competitive edge in an era characterized by rapid technological advancements and evolving security threats. The current best example of this is the Department of Defense's Third Offset Strategy. The Third Offset Strategy encompasses a series of technological and operational initiatives designed to uphold the military superiority of the United States over potential adversaries. Within the realm of artificial intelligence, the Third Offset Strategy emphasizes the Department of Defense's acknowledgement of the transformative potential inherent in AI technologies. The strategy aims to harness advancements in artificial intelligence and autonomy, integrating them into the Department of Defense's battle networks. This integration is envisioned to yield a significant enhancement in performance, contributing to the Department's belief that it will fortify conventional deterrence capabilities. All in all, militaries do not want to fall behind in the AI arms race and are constantly competing with each other to come up with the latest breakthroughs in technology. The US military in particular uses AI extensively to sift through satellite images and drone video feeds. As a result, they are able to analyze vast terrains, swiftly identifying numerous targets and prioritizing them based on a high priority target list that dictates which ones to engage with available resources. This process, which traditionally took hours or even days, now unfolds within seconds. Notably, it occurs in real time at military command posts on the front line, rather than relying solely on a centralized computing environment in a garrison setting. Specifically in the Space Force, AI is used in areas like cybersecurity and space domain awareness. When dealing with valuable space assets like satellites, Space Force Guardians are able to sift through the vast amounts of information and data to decipher whether or not a dot in the sky represents a defunct satellite, a piece of space debris, or a potential adversary approaching a critical satellite. Artificial intelligence and machine learning can help better tip and cue to potential threats to satellites on orbit by cutting through the noise faster than humans can. So you'll need fewer operators to fly these systems and you'll have better protections to think through on how to protect our systems if we're ever attacked. Military AI is not merely employed for data analysis. It has evolved significantly. In recent times, various militaries have started to incorporate autonomous weapons, such as drones and even aircraft. For instance, Certain countries utilize automated drones capable of identifying targets and eliminating them with minimal human intervention. An example of this is the United States Air Force and their Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie, a stealthy unmanned aerial combat vehicle driven by AI. The Valkyrie can serve as a loyal wingman, conduct single UAS operations, or operate in swarms. It was designed to be significantly less expensive to operate than traditional piloted or unpiloted vehicles with a projected cost as low as $2 million per aircraft, 
making it a major milestone in building the future of AI-enabled aerial platforms. However, the development and deployment of fully autonomous drones and aircraft also raise important ethical and operational questions. Issues related to control, accountability, and the potential for unintended consequences must be carefully considered as AI-driven autonomous systems become more integrated into military operations. The complete autonomy of AI-controlled drone and aircraft equipment raises concerns, given that humans are ultimately responsible for creating software and algorithms designed to make life and death decisions. The potential implications of such technology include ethical considerations, especially when deployed in situations where lethal force is exercised based on algorithms. Furthermore, the vulnerability of AI-driven weapons to cyber attacks orchestrated by foreign adversaries poses a significant risk, potentially resulting in issues such as compromised functionality, unauthorized control, or the manipulation of critical systems. The Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, had similar feelings. Let's call it as it is. The prospect of machines with the discretion and power to take human life is morally repugnant. Heaven forbid, any new war could very well include a massive cyber attack, not only targeting military capacities, but also critical civilian infrastructure. That is why the current stance in Washington is that AI will never replace soldiers entirely, but only enhance their abilities. The military's emphasis lies in human-machine collaboration, where AI serves as a potent enabler, amplifying human skills and judgment. Rather than a replacement of the soldier, artificial intelligence stands as a force multiplier, ensuring that soldiers are not only armed with advanced technology, but guided by human wisdom, melding the precision of machines with the nuanced decision-making capabilities of humanity and various governments are pushing to mitigate the risk of extinction from AI. In recent years, this risk of extinction and its associated field of AI safety have grown to capture the attention of the world. The leading scientists and policymakers from around the globe have continued to innovate through writing policy and building organizations to tackle this very issue. For example, the U.S. government continuously tries to promote AI to the general public with policies like the AI in Government Act of 2020, the National Artificial Intelligence Initiative of 2020, or more recently President Biden's executive order on the safe, secure, and trustworthy development and use of artificial intelligence. These policies aim to prepare the present and future United States workforce for the integration of artificial intelligence systems across all sectors of the economy and society, while also developing standards, tools, and tests to help ensure that AI systems are safe, secure, and trustworthy. These policies, and many others, are a testament to the growing impact of AI in our government and among our leaders. This care, however, is not just relegated to the US government. In fact, NATO has also been hard at work crafting AI policies as seen with the Artificial Intelligence Strategy for NATO with a goal of ensuring that the AI applications they develop and consider for deployment will be in accordance with six principles of responsible use. Lawfulness, responsibility and accountability, explainability and traceability, reliability, governability and bias mitigation. Military AI represents both tremendous potential and profound ethical challenges. It has the power to enhance our national defense and security, but must be approached with caution and responsibility. As we navigate this evolving landscape, it's imperative that we prioritize ethical considerations and international cooperation in the development and deployment of AI technologies in the military.